Hello and welcome to Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town, Carolinas, a weekly series featuring what it's like to live in the Carolinas. You can also visit carolinahomesearch.com. I'm your host, Patty Mercer. When a FedEx driver decides to make a difference in a delicious way to help first responders, she calls them hungry heroes. We're going to find out why it's the talk of the town. This was an idea that you had, and not only did you have it, you have created an action plan and a movement. Yep. So we started last year for the anniversary of Mike Doty's death. So this is the second anniversary uh, event collabed with 809, and we're just trying to bring the community together. It's really interesting how responsive the community has been. What do you think it is, your approach to fundraising and raising awareness that has kind of created and made a whole new path of helping? Right, so uh, the officers and first responders is already a tight brotherhood anyway. So I figured bringing them together, giving them a hot meal, letting the public see who they are behind the badge too, um, just means a lot and, and it shows it shows who they are behind the badge because they're, they're, they're here with their families, their kids. So just wanted everyone to be involved. I got a couple of hungry heroes standing with me. Your name is? Justin Spencer. And where do you work? TK Police Department. All right, got a policeman over here and you are? Tony Breeden. Rock Hill Police Department. Wow, this is so special. When you look around and you see the number of people coming out from our community to support what you do every day, what does it mean? It means a lot just to know that everybody's out there and that they still support us. And it's, uh, it's just a great feeling to see everybody come out. Absolutely, how about for you? I, you know, it's the same. I mean, we, we, we realized throughout the year that support for law enforcement is still pretty high, especially in our area, in our community. And I think that's because all of our agencies do a pretty good job of making sure that we work on those relationships on a year-round basis. And I think that it shows at times like this and other times during the year that people still have a tremendous amount of support for us. That makes me very proud of York County and, of course, that we do respect. Every day you wake up, you never know what a day is going to hold. Correct. And it's, it's one of those things you kiss your family goodbye and you never know if it's going to be the last time you see them or not. So. Mm -hmm. And of course, the tragedy of losing Mike Doty and now the 809 Foundation. Has that helped heal that loss? Uh, yeah, I don't think, I think one of the things it highlights is, is that people don't realize that for the Dotys and for his really, really close friends, that day will never stop. Where did this inspiration come from? Um, his death. I just wanted um, him to always be remembered, it's the same as 809. and. Uh, I think it was important to come together, especially on his anniversary, to to honor him. Yes, now you're the founder of Hungry Heroes, which really gives you the opportunity to elevate uh, a lot of causes, very worthy causes. But Hungry Heroes has only been in existence, what, two years? Yeah. Where did the inspiration for Hungry Heroes start? So after Detective Mike Doty died and, and the, uh, the awful tragedy with the other officers getting shot, I wanted to give back and I wanted it to be hands-on like uh, not just put a flag in your yard, like actually hands on, give it back to show appreciation. Um, from what I hear, I never met Mike, but that's what he was about too, is serving others and what he could do for others. So um, I prayed about it and I wanted to move my hands and feet to make a difference. Sarah, you are with the 809 Foundation. What is the 809 Foundation? So the 809 Foundation is a foundation that was started in honor of Detective Mike Doty after he lost his life in the line of duty. Um, our mission is truly to further the things that Mike was passionate about. And 809 was his call number. Um, as law enforcement, they all have call numbers, so that's how we came about with 809 Foundation. He truly made such a difference. I mean, just doing his job, and now we're able to learn more about his passion. How would you describe the passion that he had for what he did? Uh, it was never ending. So there was so many things that Mike did behind the scenes that people didn't know about. It was everything from helping youth and mentoring to um, getting drugs off the streets, trying to have a real impact on the opioid crisis, um, and just bringing our community together. How many do you expect to feed today? Last year it was uh, over 3,000 were here. Not everyone ate, but I'm hoping there's more than that. So. Yeah, yeah. And tell me about your relationship with Traeger Grills. Right, so I'm a Traeger ambassador. Um, I was a Traeger ambassador before all this happened, so I love to cook. And so um, when they found out that I wanted to cook for first responders, they started sending me free grills, free pellets, and stuff like that. For someone like Amanda to come along and do what she's been able to do with Hungry Heroes, what, what do you think of that? 
I think it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, just to where she took it from the beginning to where it is now and how national she's gone and, and how she just brings everybody together like this. and. Uh, it's just amazing to see. How did you gain the confidence to be able to cook for thousands? So I was just self-taught. Like I was just in my backyard making burgers, steaks, Boston butts, and I uh, kind of got obsessed with it. And then usually people don't trust a skinny chef, but I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. So no one's complained. Hey, good news travels fast. And, and I, I do like to tell the youth that, that you don't have to be a professional to to give back or make a difference. I mean, you, you can order a pizza for the agency, like yeah. the same thing, and it's still showing appreciation. Yeah. yeah, what's funny is she used to babysit for us. And <laughs> she really She's did. a good babysitter, right, I bet. She really was. And so when she first got her first grill, she just was really into it, into it. And she was just like a, during the week, she said, look, I'm, I want to cook for y'all shift. So she just brought lunch for our shift one day. Yeah. And that's really how it kind of got started. And then. You know, we would reach out and get other agencies and say, hey, can she come feed you? And it just grew and grew and grew. Wow. So, but it was really just, you know, she fed our, at Rock Hill, just one of our shifts because she felt compelled to do it. Yeah. And then it's to, to see that in that short amount of time that it's turned into this is pretty amazing. So Chase, when you look around and you see all the people that come out and support first responders today, what's it mean to you? That we have a community that backs us and supports us when we need a shoulder to lean on. Yeah. Yes, I think that's fantastic. How was the food? It was amazing. Best yeah? barbecue I've had. Yes, ma'am. Best barbecue ever. Straight up, how's the food? I, I'm, I make no secrets about it. I come for Amanda's mom's coleslaw, and that's it. <laughs> uh, you know, the barbecue I can get, I love it, but her mom's coleslaw is the sole reason I show up. And there's no I doubt about it. I love it. I love it. Good cooking is in the I DNA. Don't, I don't know okay. That, that family recipe, that banana pudding is pretty good. Oh, I just saw it yeah. and thought I would start there and yeah. work my way back to the barbecue. Ooh. How can other people help further this 809 Foundation's mission? Absolutely. So, and another piece of our mission is to give back and help officers in North and South Carolina and their families that have been injured or killed in the line of duty. Um, so honestly, the biggest thing for us is um, monetary help. So purchasing our different merchandise, everything goes straight back into our mission. We also have some volunteer opportunities and just ways to keep up um, with kind of what's going on in our different events is through our website, 809foundation.org, through our Instagram, and just really following us on social media to see what we're doing and coming out to these events to support. Hungry Heroes, What? tell me more about your organization. How can other people get involved? So we have a board of uh, four or five members, so I know you only see my face, but there's so many people behind the scenes who help put all of this together. Um, we have social media, Hunger Heroes. Um, HungerHeroesBBQ.com is our website. We sell apparel, 100% of apparel proceeds go back into the mission to help us continue to do this. Um, we, we always get volunteers for events, so there's ways to help. Even if it's not just uh, money donations, we, we get uh, Pepsis, Cokes, waters, everything donated for the event so too. Well that's it for this edition of Miller Realty Group's Talk of the Town Carolinas. Hey if you're thinking of buying or selling your home remember to call Carmen or you can see beautiful homes in our area simply by visiting carolinahomesearch.com. While you're there you can see past episodes of Talk of the Town Carolinas. Until next time just remember those first responders. I'm Patty Mercer. Bye-bye.